Hi everyone, Ray from LoveYourRV.com here again and today I'm going to do a major upgrade to my cellular booster system. For the last few years I've been using this little model here it's called the Wilson Sleek and uh, it's performed pretty good. You get uh, we what we do is we have a, a hot spot here from Verizon and we just slide it into the Sleek. It's really meant for use in a car and then it usually comes with this little um, rooftop antenna that you, you put out through the window and that works good in the truck but it, I've been using it in the RV and what I did is I bought their what they call their office kit that fits in the window and you just click the antenna on like that so that's pretty cool I think it was around $150, $160 and what it does is when you're in that that fringe area where the cell is just cutting in and out or you barely have any signal it'll boost it up to a, a usable signal so a little while ago um, the Wilson company they, they call themselves WeBoost now the antennas they use um, and boosters contacted me and asked me if I'd like to review one of their products so like I was all over that it's a uh, what they have is the a, a lot bigger antenna and a lot more powerful booster so this is the box I received from them and in it is their top of the line WeBoost 4G-X booster. So that we'll unbox that and show you what's inside that. Also I have the what they call the Trucker RV kit which gives me a really good sized antenna for the roof to really pull in those uh, signals. So let's take this thing apart and I'll explain more about it before I get to the install. Okay, all unboxed, awesome. So in the the kit here for the 4G-X booster, you got the the main part of the beast. So this will take the signal from the antenna and then boost it up, send it to a, another antenna that'll be inside the. This is sort of designed to be inside the cab, and then that'll send out a boost to have a, a strong signal for your cell phone or your your MiFi or data device. <clears throat> So to power this, you've got uh, a power socket there. They give you included here is uh, the Wilson Electronics uh, power supply. So it takes from 12 to 24 and puts it down to uh, 6 volts. Okay, and you can just plug that into a normal uh, lighter socket. Or I don't know if they call them lighter sockets anymore. <laughs> I think I'm showing my age. A well, power socket, 12 volt power socket, and on the end there's a switch. And then it comes with this little antenna. It's a mag mount antenna, so that's designed to go on the, the roof of the vehicle. But that would probably work pretty good. But to expand it any further, this is the, the RV trucker kit. So it's a little more money. I think uh, I think it runs around five or six hundred um, for you get everything included here. Um, they uh, sent me this this whole kit out for free so I didn't have to pay for it in exchange for a, a review just so you know up front um, so yeah that's a pretty cool antenna look at that so that comes with a mount included and it doesn't require what they call a ground plane so this is kind of uh, set up to go on the mirror of a big semi truck or I'm what I'm going to do is put it on my uh, ladder rack at the back up nice and high and it's got a big spring in it so you know if you hit anything it'll just spring off and then that'll run in inside the rig and connect up to this and then instead of using this little interior antenna the kit includes this really large interior antenna that'll hook up to a wall space somewhere and that'll broad rebroadcast that signal really strong all through the RV and also included is a 20 feet of uh, wire so you can uh, mount that one pretty well anywhere you want reading up a little it says you want to have the antennas you don't want them right beside each other you want some space between them so first thing I'm gonna do is install the outside antenna and run it through through my rig. Now coincidentally i am also been installing a rear backup camera so at the same time I'm gonna make a little junction box because then I can just drill one hole in the rig 
and run my backup camera and the, the antenna through the same thing. So that's first up, install that thing on the ladder and run the wire in. Cool, let's get to work. Okay, supervisor down here says I should uh, install the antenna first. So I'm going to head up on the roof and I think I'm going to install that uh, antenna up on my uh, ladder rail. So let's head up and I'll show you. Okay, so we're up on the roof here and I've attached the, the WeBoost antenna, RV trucker antenna, to my ladder rail here using the provided clamp. So that worked out good. Um, it doesn't need any ground plane this one, so it, it has a built-in ground plane, so that's all it needs is to be attached to some rail. I put some uh, rubberized tape underneath to stop any kind of rust taking place because it would be dissimilar metals there, so I found that worked really good with my flagpole mount that I did down there. So I did that, and then I've ran the, the antenna wire across the top of the roof and I used some Eternabon tape just to keep that wire in place. I did that with my solar panel wiring and it worked really good. I don't, then I don't have to put any holes in the roof for, for little clamps to put down. Kind of looks nice and neat. And then I used my existing junction box here that I had wired. I don't know if you saw a, a recent video. I did a backup camera. And so I've used the same junction box and fed it through. So inside the junction box, I've sealed all the the input channel there with a bunch of silicone, r silicone, and then of course there's die core sealing all that around, and it's got a waterproof lid. So that should work good. Nice pathway down, and that's going to go down into a rear cabinet area down below, where I can uh, mount my the WeBoost amplifier and also catch into power. So. That looks pretty tidy. And then the antenna will have nice and nice amount of height being above the roof line there. Okay, so let's go down below and start wiring in the inside stuff. Okay, so there's the the WeBoost antenna wire coming down from the roof. Now I have to mount the amplifier. There we go. So my plan is, I'm going to mount it inside this cabinet, maybe up high like that, so I still retain at the back, one or the other, so I still retain my uh, storage here. And uh, I've also put in some power here. This is a little 12 volt power power plug, which I wired in. Because I want to build, it comes with an AC adapter, but I'd like to be able to run it just straight off the 12 volts because we boondock a lot, and that's usually where we're, we're when we're in fringe areas. So I don't want to have to use my inverter to run this. I'd rather run it straight off the 12 volt. And it comes with a little adapter to plug into the, the outlet. Also, I can unplug it when I don't want to use it, which will be good. Um, how did I put that in there? That wasn't stock, so... Uh, here I'll just show you how I wired it in into my control my control panel here. Okay, for 12 volt power for that backup camera, I've pulled off the the main control panel here in the Cougar, and with my multimeter I've found um, a 12 volt source. You can see the red wire right here. That's going into a lighting circuit, and then I've, the black wire here is going into a ground circuit. And that's going in to a 12 volt, 12 volt, it's kind of like, you know, a power plug in a car, cigarette lighter type deal. And uh, I cut a little hole in the side of my, uh, inside my cabinet here, and that's going to sit in there and, and provide power for my backup camera. Um, also, I'm going to be installing pretty soon a, uh, a wireless booster for our cell cell phones and, and data so that's also gonna do dual duty and it'll be able to run that as well. There we go. So we got her mounted up there. It's got like a little snap-in mount so you can take it out pretty easily. And then I've wired it in and you can see there we go. Super cool. Okay, so now for the inside antenna, what I'm going to do is I got 20, uh, 
I think I got 20 feet of antenna. So I'm going to take this and go back through here and run it into here. Hopefully, what I want to do is mount my inside antenna right there. That'll be about eight feet away, seven and a half, eight feet away from the outside antenna. I've read if it might not work well if they're too close together. So I'm going to have to experiment a bit. Um, if not, I can run it along the edge through all my kitchen cabinets here. So I'll be able to hide the wire behind and put it further down the rig. I've got 20 feet of wire to work with. So I'm going to have to experiment a bit with that. But right now I'm going to uh, put it inside. That'll be a place to store the excess wire as well. So I'm going to drill a small hole above my uh, power input and that'll be where the antenna wire can go into that uh, control bit behind that control panel in that little cabinet spot there. Okay, I got the internal antenna mounted so let's just recap things a bit for you. Um, up on the roof there attached to the ladder is the external antenna and it's wired into that junction box up there that I showed you. It comes down through that uh, hole that was drilled through into the roof and um, goes along and into the the Wii Boost amplifier there, which I mounted up into it's up mounted into a snap mount there. Uh, the other black wire you see and the coily wire there, that's uh, part of my uh, rear backup camera system. Um, so then next, um, this gets power from this 12 volt outlet here, which has. A, We'll switch to turn it on and off and up there is the the adapter to go from 12 volts I believe this thing needs 6 volts power and then the to, for the inside antenna it comes out of the amplifier here goes around and through a hole in the cabinet there in behind my uh, my Cougars master control panel there's there quite a void space in there so what I've done right now is I've just um, coiled the wire and there's 18 feet of uh, ex extension wire there for this internal antenna which I haven't decided where to mount yet. Um, right now I'm in a place where the cell signals are extremely strong so I can't get a good feeling of where the best place to mount that antenna in my rig is but once we start uh, traveling in the next <clears throat> week or so I think we're leaving in about a week and we'll go down the Oregon coast where I know there's a lot of weak cell sections and dead spots so I should be able to get a pretty good idea where I want to mount that and I have lots of extra cords so I'll be able to experiment and find the best spot in the rig but uh, I just thought I'd do the install before we leave and give you a look at that so stay tuned we'll be blasting off pretty soon um, it's getting pretty uh, cold and dark here up in Vancouver Island so I can't wait to get going. So until next time this is Ray from loveyourrv.com. Cheers!